I don't know about you as a kid, but you know, if I watched the Olympics, I always had a fantasy, oh, I'm going to be an Olympian. Right? You know, that, that was not in the cards. But then you think, oh, a master of something. That sounds very intriguing. I think somehow it might be in our DNA that we recognize the beauty of fire, that it can keep you warm, that it can cook food, but it can also transform something that we thought was dirt, like iron ore, into steel, which then can be converted into a tool. And I think inherently there's an appreciation for that potential. I have this notion that reductions are some of the most desirable things related to food. Take a big pot, roast a bunch of bones, put water, carrots, onions, celery, maybe some herbs in there, and reduce down and concentrate all of those flavors. So that idea is very intriguing to me, and people that are really in pursuit of something excellent, they're learning things along the path. And so I like to think of our lives as, as a reduction and the, and the possibility of eliminating things that maybe don't matter and concentrating on a way to make an improvement. So the essential line is, is kind of the reduction. A really beautiful stainless steel. This stuff was originally designed for razor blades. So it takes a killer edge, is very stain resistant, and then a beautiful polymer handle that's incredibly stable and you don't have to worry about it cracking or shrinking. It is very easy to care for. This is the line where you can have access, get in. It's very reasonably priced. It's tough and it's easy to sharpen. Essentially, that's all you need. why partner was willing. These guys have been in business for 270 some years. We've got German engineering and Japanese craftsmanship. It's just as good as it gets. So in the factory in Seki, all of these knives get sharpened by hand. This process along with the polishing of the back and the polishing of the heel is done by people that really understand this job and know what the knife feels like. These are really hand-built knives. So one of the things I really love about making knives is that it's an item that's going to be around for a while. It's a tool that hopefully you'll incorporate into your life and you'll have a good feeling when you pick that tool up. You open the drawer and you go, oh, that's my favorite knife, and you pull it out and it's in your hand and, and you feel good about it. There's something very, very satisfying about building that tool.